Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Poetry Slam as part of the ICNA Da'wah Conference. Uh, my name is Kashmir Merim and I am one of your hosts for this evening. Um, just a little bit about myself before we get into talking about the actual Poetry Slam and introducing our poets on uh, the virtual platform, alhamdulillah. So I am also a spoken word poet myself. Um, Previously, I performed in a lot of poetry slams and I enjoy performance, but more importantly, I enjoy listening to um, other poets perform. And so I'm really excited for today, uh, inshallah. And um, yeah, and I'm also an author. I have written two books. One is a collection of poetry and the other is uh, a more recent book called The Muslim Woman's Manifesto. It's kind of like a self-help book, but for Muslim women, uh, I specifically tailored it to talking about spiritual issues that we go through. It's very relevant to da'wah and the kinds of things that we are going through in these times of confusion. Um, and yeah, and so uh, that's pretty much my introduction. And I'm going to pass it over to my co-host, who, who also happens to be my sister. Um, and she's also the founder, and we are the co-founders together of a movement called The Strangers. Um, so I'll pass the book over to you, Aisha, and you can um, introduce yourself and also what The Strangers as a project does. Uh, Jazak, Jazak Lahir, sister. Um, so The Strangers is basically an organization. Um, our aim is to clear up misconceptions, revive the message of Islam, and we through this through um, different means. The main means is through spoken word. Um, we also do other things where, for example, um, you know, uh, writing projects, freedom right projects, um, the Uyghur campaign, etc. If you are interested in finding out more about The Strangers Do, inshallah, all you need to do is go onto our website, which is the strangers, um, the strangers poets dot info. It's very easy. Hopefully you'll be able to get it and um, we will say it again during the session, inshallah. Um, as for myself, I am Aisha and um, my information is on the website as well. And Kashmir Miriam is my sister. I'm really looking forward to this, inshallah. And um, we're going to pass it back on to Kashmir and she's going to go through um, basically uh, the rules and everything. And then the next step, the, the step we've all been waiting for, the poets, inshallah. Yeah, thank you for that, Aisha. So uh, we're going to jump right into the rules, ground rules for the poets and also the judging criteria for us as the judges this time around. Um, because last time, alhamdulillah, we had a huge lineup and we were very ambitious. We tried to get everyone on, but we went very over time. Um, so this time around, we want to be very strict with our timing and we want to make sure that all our poets have an opportunity to um, come on. And obviously, this is a virtual platform, so we have to... Um, make sure that everything is done in a timely way and we don't have any uh, technical issues, inshallah. So um, we pray that it goes smoothly. Please make the dua for us and also be very supportive throughout all of the poems and, um, you know, as we smoothly move through and transition through all of our performers. Um, so, okay, rules. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. Now, for all of the performers who are lined up and who are listening, the rules they have, they're already very aware of, uh, but for our audience, it's pretty simple. It's just each performer has up to three minutes for their poem. Um, we let them know when to begin. It begins from the first word of their poem and we'll be timing that inshallah. The second rule is that we ask that the content of the poem is relevant to the theme of this conference. So it's a very general theme. You know, they have a lot of artistic freedom to talk about Islam in a time of confusion. You can talk about that way. You can talk about purpose, anything that you think is creatively relevant to the theme. Um, and we will be looking at that when we are, you know, uh, scoring each of our performers, inshallah. Um, and the third one is just a general rule that we just hope that all of our performers understand to be respectful to one another, to, to others who are listening, um, to understand that we may have um, young children uh, also watching who probably should be sleeping by now. Um, but just to keep the content very appropriate, no cursing and, you know, just uh, standard rules of being appropriate. Um, and finally, the judging criteria. So as we all know, every single time judging is probably the hardest thing. And if it were up to me and Aisha, we really wouldn't. We just absolutely try and shy away from the role of judging of judging uh, but this time around we thought it would be better for us to contribute to the judging panel just because it is a virtual platform and it's hard to have so many people and moving parts 
Um, and we wanted to offer a fair chance to all of our poets without having necessarily like a ranking order. Um, and we also have opened up the platform. So we have young poets involved too. And that's really important to us because we're trying to have them creatively involved in very, uh, you know, mature and relevant discussions like that one because they offer such a powerful perspective in that. And I think that's important to have them involved. Um, so with that being said, we do ask that, um, you know, in, in terms of the, uh, the, the judging criteria, you know, for this is a, a specific message tailored to the poets. So we ask that number one, that your content is relevant to the theme. That is a, a criteria that we will be looking at when judging. Um, you know, I'm sure that you have a lot of freedom to talk about many things within that. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, inshallah. The second thing we will be looking at is your performance and your delivery. Um, so the difference between slam poetry and written poetry, um, or even, uh, you know, like um, reading poetry is very different to, to the culture of performance. And, you know, the delivery, I think, is something that really enhances your poem and your content. It allows for the words that you're speaking or that you had written to connect with the hearts and the, the minds of the people that you are talking to. Um, so just to bear that in mind and to not have to worry about, you know, who, who's watching you and how many people might be seeing you, uh, but to just focus in like as if you're talking to someone in your room that might help you with your performance um, and just to engage with the words that you're saying. That is something that we'll be looking at, inshallah. And the final category that we will be judging on is the audience engagement. So now this is a message specifically for our listeners out there. If you like what you hear, if you have a line or, you know, a poet says a line that resonates with you, we ask that you share your support and your feedback in the comments section. That is something that we will be looking at. Um, it just shows us how much that poem has connected with you. Um, because, you know, as we know, poetry is very subjective. What might resonate with me might, res uh, you know, might not resonate with someone else, but a particular line might strike you in a way that it doesn't strike someone else. So, we do ask that you show your love, you show your support, and again, you'd be respectful in the comment section. And um, that's pretty much it. So we have the grand rule sorted. We have our judging criteria. Um, and just to let our performers know that if they do go over three minutes, you have a grace period of 10 seconds. So after that, we will have to unfortunately deduct points. Um, but I'm sure that from, you know, reviewing all of your content upon your, you know, submissions, that you just uh, that all of them should be within that time frame um so without any further ado we will be introducing can i, add, yeah. can I add one yep. one couple of more things so um as for the three minute grace period um now with the i know that the performers they might get a little bit nervous um but don't worry about it just do the best that you can do if you go over you go over god willing you know that should be fine um and we will definitely um don't it's not it's not the end of the world don't get nervous i can i can already feel the anxiety rising right now don't worry about it uh, that's to our performers now to our audience um now your role as the audience is crucial meaning that whatever you know you what whatever comments that you make whatever likes that you give to the performers um that's going to be heavily taken into account because as we said we don't have any external judges um from my sister and i so um you are also the judges so please 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 take that very seriously as well okay so we're going to introduce the next poet um sister amira ahmed who is also part of our freedom writers project um very very excited to have her on uh, her work is also phenomenal alhamdulillah uh, sister amira are you here perfect salamu alaikum how are you alaikum salam i'm good how are you alhamdulillah alhamdulillah um how is it like where you are right now i think you're in va right yes in virginia, virginia. um it's okay <laughs> <laughs> There's always something going on, right? Um, where can we be right now? Okay, cool. Uh, so, Amira, if you want to introduce yourself or introduce something about your poem, uh, whatever you feel more, you know, like you want to do, um, go for it. Stage is yours. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Amira. Um, I'm 16 years old. I'm a high school senior in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Um, my poem is called Where I Find Him, and I found my inspiration from the names of Allah and I wrote it at the beginning of the when we were in quarantine at the beginning of the pandemic and yeah okay. 
He is in the worn threads of my mother's work scrubs after another day of watching the world disintegrate before her feet. He is in between the furrowed brows of my father, navigating a sea of uncertainty. He is in the boisterous giggles that escape my little sister's room, laced with the blissful ignorance of childhood. He is in the oil that soaks my hair and the face mask seeping into my skin, an effort to keep sanity in this insane scenario. He is in the tears that fall to the prayer mat from my best friend's eyes, pleading with Allah to end the rampant fear. He is the Almighty, the most merciful, woven into the fabric of our lives, of our hopes, dreams, and despairs. He is the giver of gifts, so we turn to Him, beg Him to bless us with a remedy to our woes, but He, yes, He is the restorer, the provider, the most compassionate. If he can craft the cells that make up the intricacies of your being, my dear, won't you have faith in his ability to cure this predicament we are in? You must remember during the faithless nights that your Lord has not abandoned you, nor has he despised you, nor does he despise you. When you cannot find God, look no further than your jugular vein. Examine the tips of your fingers and the curve of your nose and tell me then if you found the faith in El Musawiyah, the shaper, the fashioner. So find him in the folds of your thobe and the marble beads with which you repeat your remembrance. Find him in the lonely moments when you think you just can't take this isolation anymore. When there seems to be no end in sight, recall the names of your Lord, al awwal al akhir He is the first and he is the last. Put your trust in Al-Hakim, the All-Wise, for he will not fail you even in the most trying of times. Amin. I mean, Jazakallah, hey, Sister Amira. So um, I remember the poem that you submitted um, initially. It was a message to your Baba. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. um, so did you changed it, right? Yes, I decided to do this one because it was more relevant to the theme. The other one was more like culturally charged. <laughs> um, but this one was more relevant. It's it, it like, was beautiful, just like what I'm for sharing, and I'm yes. I'm glad that you did it uh, as well because I feel like you explored an aspect of purpose and meaning and understanding like creation in in the the typical things that we see. Like you mentioned, the creases of the soul. You mentioned um, the prayer beads, like the things that we should just be reflecting on as humans and as individuals that should be directing us to a creator and i feel like you encapsulated that very powerfully in your um in 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 your similes and your metaphors so jazakallah that was very beautiful and just like sister naima you had a amazing amount of feedback from a lot of the people online uh you were probably busy with your poem that you didn't get to see it but um but alhamdulillah you did very well you were amazing and we thank you so much for sharing your poem with us on this platform today Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah khair. We're going to be wrapping things up, inshallah. And, uh, the content and the relevance of all of the poems and just the diversity that we have in today's um, performance set. So Jazakallah khair to everyone from the bottom of our heart, as the strangers, as your sisters in Islam and as your fellow poets. We know it's not easy coming on this platform and to share your work that's so personal to you. But um, we hope that our audience also enjoyed it. We'd like to thank everyone. We'd also like to thank ICNA for hosting us on this platform um, and for making this opportunity available to our youth, to our to our whole ummah. And um, we pray that above all, everyone benefited from it, inshallah. And uh, Jazakallah khair. Aisha, would you like to add anything to that? Um, yes, subhanAllah. You know, I did not expect um, the schools to be so close together. And it's very important to say it was literally by a decimal point. And um, subhanAllah, like it's you were every single one of our poets, um, your contribution, it, you know, this whole kind of uh, label of winner here, winner there. Um, my sister and I, we do personally dislike it, but the whole kind of uh, feel of competition, it just has to, unfortunately, just requires that, you know. Um, but you all are winners, and I'm not just saying that to sound cliched, but it truly is um, important that you know that, that your your work and your words have made a difference to someone who is listening out there. And we truly appreciate, especially I'm calling all the way from India, some of you, other people I know that you had um, other engagements as well, but you made the effort to come here, be here, share your message, and it was a beautiful message. Jazakallah uh, khair so much. And uh, we really hope we can work with you in the future, inshallah, future projects. And um, 
stay well and stay best. Uh, I mean. I mean, okay, and with that, we will close today's session, inshallah. Uh, if you guys would like to check out more of our work, again, we will um, post more information on our website, and also you can check us out on our Instagram, The Strangers. And um, yeah, and alhamdulillah, today we finished on time. So jazakallah uh, again for watching, to all of our performers, for Ikna for hosting, and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.